Your Excellency, President, President Xi Jinping, esteemed guests of honor, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure today to lead the Pakistani delegation at the first China International Import Expo. I especially want to thank uh, the President, the Chinese government, for the great hospitality according to, accorded to me and my delegation. As the Belt and Road Initiative gives shape to a global community of shared interests, this expo will help spread dividends of freer trade amongst more closely integrated economies. In Pakistan, the Karakoram Highway merges into a network of modern highways that are part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. These take you to the deep seaport of Gawadar, the point where the Belt and Road converge and this impacts not only Pakistan, but has an impact on all the economies of the entire region. CPEC shall cut distances and costs, bringing much needed resources to producers and new products to consumers. CPEC is a mechanism to forge even closer connectivity between the Middle East and China and between Central and South Asia. It is opening fresh investment avenues, new markets, new vistas. My party, the Tariq and Saf, or PTI, campaigned during the last election for change. And now, since we've been in power, we are initiating deep and meaningful reforms impacting all sectors and every aspect of governance. We are committed to improving our frameworks of transparency and accountability, leveraging technology for seamless, smart solutions for business and governance. We in Pakistan are blessed with an abundant array of resources ranging from minerals to fertile land to wealth of renewables and the most diverse landscape with 12 climatic zones. Our industry is already producing high-end textiles, sports goods, engineering goods, IT services, and medical technologies, including surgical instruments. But by far, our greatest and most promising resource is human. We have 100 million Pakistanis below the age of 35, a young, vibrant population. And the near or new Pakistan will be more conducive and more competitive place for transacting business. At a time when the international trade system is under attack, when unilateral commercial benefits are being sought aggressively by some, when protectionism is on the rise, we take great comfort in President Xi's courageous statement, and I quote, the doors of China's opening up will never shut, but will only open ever wider. Thank you.